In a remote corner of the Tibetan Plateau, surrounded by some of the world's tallest mountains and deepest gorges, China is planning the world's most complicated super dam. It's the biggest hydroelectric project we've ever seen. This dam could give China enough clean electricity to power the UK for an entire year. But the ideal location is one of the most inaccessible gorges in Tibet. A project this size could change the geopolitical power balance across South Asia. If the earthquakes took it in the way, that is. China loves engineering. For the past 70 years, they've broken records in almost every industry, building more and bigger than most of the competition, and hydropower is no exception. China currently has about 87,000 dams. With a population of 1.4 billion people, water management is crucial. They've redirected many of their major rivers in an attempt to supercharge development. We've got a whole other video on that insane project, but suffice it to say that China is no stranger to hydro mega projects compared to what they're working on now. Everything else pales in comparison. Even the Three Gorges Dam. There have been some crazy plans to realize this project. One of the original ways was to use a nuclear weapon to blow up that dam. Thankfully, the Chinese government decided against it. The Yarlung Zangbo River, also known as the Yarlung Tsangpo and the Brahmaputra in different countries, is the highest major river in the world. It starts at the Angsi Glacier and flows over 1,000 kilometers east until it reaches Namsha Barwa Mountain. From there, it turns south and runs into India and Bangladesh before finally emptying into the Indian Ocean. This river is incredible. It contains many waterfalls and white water, earning it the nickname the Everest of Rivers. The exact location China is targeting for the dam is the Yarlung Zangbo Gorge, a sacred place in Tibetan culture, said to contain a hidden entrance to the spirit world. But China is interested in its unique geography, making it the perfect location for a massive hydropower mega project. China plans to develop a 60 GOE super dam capable of producing three times as much electricity as the biggest dam in the world today. If completed, this project would harness the natural power of one of the biggest rivers in Asia and produce enough clean electricity for tens of millions of people. The dam is supposed to be built in a remote and wild part of China that few foreigners ever visit. The mountainous area is prone to natural disasters, and even getting the construction materials up there would be a feat worth celebrating. The scale of this project is unprecedented, not just because of its size, but because of the technical challenges involved in executing it in such a remote and volatile region. The region is so remote that there wasn't even a major road here all year round until 2013. The potential hydropower resources are just too huge for the Chinese government to pass up. Despite its mountainous surroundings, China's been developing hydropower on the Yarlung Zangbo for a while. There are several other hydropower facilities further upstream, like the Jiatsa and Zangmu dams, but they are nothing compared to the 60 Jido Super Dam. Details about the actual plans are very vague. Either the government doesn't know exactly how they're going to pull it off yet, or they don't want anyone else to know. There are two main options. Build a cascade of dams down through the gorge, which could harm the biodiversity, or dig a tunnel from the highest reach of the river to the bottom, releasing the water through the tunnel and generating power. Constructing such a dam in a seismically active zone is a huge challenge. The Yarlung Zangbo Gorge sits on the Indus Sangpo Suture Zone, where the Indian Plate collides with the Eurasian Plate. This causes frequent earthquakes. The 1950 Assam Tibet earthquake, which measured 8.6 on the Richter scale, is one of the most severe ever recorded. Landslides are also common. In March 2021, a glacier fell into the river, blocking it and creating a temporary dam. The potential for such natural disasters makes the construction and long-term stability of the dam highly uncertain. The Yarlung Zangbo Gorge is not just a place of immense natural beauty, but also a site of significant cultural importance. Different ethnic groups, including Tibetans and the Adi people, live within the gorge. For the Tibetans, the river is considered sacred, embodying a goddess whose body curves around the river's bends. This cultural significance adds another layer of complexity to the project. The region is also rich in biodiversity, with new species still being discovered. Any development must balance the extraction of hydropower with the conservation of this unique environment. The biodiversity of this region is extraordinary, with scientists discovering new species regularly. This makes it a critical area for conservation. Constructing the dam could have significant environmental consequences, disrupting ecosystems, and potentially leading to the extinction of species. 
The Chinese government will need to navigate these environmental concerns carefully to minimize the impact. China's neighbors, India and Bangladesh, share the same river that China wants to build on, and they're worried that a project of this size might seriously affect their access to water. The potential for geopolitical tension is high, especially given the already strained relationship between China and India. In 2020, border clashes resulted in the deaths of 20 Indian soldiers. Controlling the flow of water gives China a significant geopolitical advantage over its downstream neighbors, raising concerns about the potential for water to be used as a strategic weapon. China needs a lot of electricity, twice as much as the USA and eight times as much as Russia. Currently, most of China's electricity is generated by burning coal, which produces significant emissions. As China moves towards net zero and their demand for electricity keeps rising, they are investing in renewable sources of energy, including solar panels, wind turbines, tidal power, and hydroelectric dams. Since the 1950s, China has built tens of thousands of dams, including the biggest and most powerful hydroelectric facility in the world, the Three Gorges Dam. Now, after damming most of their internal rivers, China has turned their attention to their major international rivers. The future of this project is filled with uncertainties. We don't know when exactly construction might start or how much it will all cost. The region is prone to massive earthquakes, and landslides are common. In 1950, the area experienced one of the most severe earthquakes ever recorded, measuring 8.6 on the Richter scale. If a similar earthquake were to occur after the dam is built, the downstream consequences could be catastrophic. Despite these challenges, the Chinese government seems serious about this project. It was included in their national five-year plan, and discussions by top officials suggest that work is likely to go ahead. China's $100 billion Himalayan Mega Dam is an ambitious and controversial project. If successful, it could provide a significant amount of clean electricity and help China meet its renewable energy goals. However, the potential environmental impact, cultural disruption, and geopolitical tensions make it a highly complex undertaking. The project's future remains uncertain, but if any country can pull off such an engineering marvel, it's probably China. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this mega project. Do you think China will manage to complete it? What will be the consequences for India and Bangladesh? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth explorations of the world's most fascinating projects.